Hi guys and welcome back to Chemistry 1032 Lab instructional videos. I am your host Dr. Russell Betts and I'll be guiding you through today's example problem. Today we're looking at example 11.2 assigning alpha and beta to monosaccharides and here's the question here. We have three different monosaccharides, three different uh, representations of sugars and we're going to assign alpha and beta to this. Now when assigning alpha and beta we first want to look at the anomeric carbons and I'm going to circle those right now uh, on each example. These are the anomeric carbons. Now how do you tell if a carbon is anomeric or not? It's very simple. You find the oxygen in the ring which is right there, right there, and right there. Let's find the oxygen in the ring and then just look simply look one carbon to the right. Now in this class the sugars are always drawn like this with the oxygen kind of in the same place every time. So just look to its right and that's the anomeric carbon. Now once you've found the anomeric carbon, I'm going to just to clean up these drawings a little bit. Once you've found the anomeric carbon then we have to decide if it's alpha or beta. Now to decide alpha versus beta you simply look at the OH's that are attached. Now you find the anomeric carbon you find the OH and find its direction. In this case the OH is pointing down. When the OH is pointing down this is called alpha. Or if you want to write the Greek letter, the Greek letter is alpha. This is a sugar with the OH in the alpha position. So if on the anomeric carbon the OH is down, if on the other hand the OH is up such as we have right here, then this can't be alpha, this must be beta. And that's simply beta because there's the Greek letter B, uh, beta, excuse me. Um, it's beta because the OH is pointing up on the carbon to the right of the anomeric, uh, the car pardon me, the OH is pointing up on the anomeric carbon, which is the carbon that is to the right of the oxygen in the ring. So finally, looking at this one, this OH here is pointing down, so this is alpha. And that's as simple as that. Just find the oxygen in the ring, look one carbon to the right, that's the anomeric carbon. Find out if the OH is pointing down, that would be alpha. If the OH is pointing up, that would be beta. And that's how you assign alpha versus beta to a monosaccharide. Now I hope this video was helpful. If, if uh, you still have some questions or some problems, please see your um, professor to get extra help or head over to the Academic Success Center and talk to one of the many awesome tutors we have over there. They are there to help you as well. And with that, I wish you good luck and good chemistry.